Why is he doing this? I know Sheriff Helder. He is a friend of mine. No, 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 Andrea Jenkins, a Washington County Justice of the Peace who's also doubling as a bus driver for the Farmington School District, is arrested after a two-vehicle incident involving her son. Like, I just, last week, got his insurance, or talked to his insurance. Did he drive here or did someone drive here? Andrea wasn't involved in the accident. She'd only driven over for her son, but the officer gets a strong whiff of alcohol while talking to her, and the investigation shifts from the accident to the avoidance of further accidents. How much have you had? How much is not much? Like, two glasses. Wine. While Andrea claims to have only had two glasses of wine, the officers are bound by law to perform a field sobriety test on her. He has um, temporary insurance on his car, but I have contacted the insurance agency recently to make sure that we could get it updated, and um, I have that in my car, or in my phone. When's the last time you had a drink? Um, a while ago. Like, hour? Yeah. Minute? Which one's your car? That's mine. She didn't want to have the test conducted while her son was there. She plays her Justice of Peace card, but the cops were insisting on doing their duties. Yeah, but you have to get a ride or something. We have to do something other than drive here when we're drinking. So we'll, we'll see where you're at. We'll see where that's going to go. Okay? But don't do that in front of my son, please. please. I can have him sit in your car. Please. I mean, I... I'm a Justice of the Peace. I'm an elected official. Please. That, I, that please. bears nothing. I was at home. And but this you drove happened. Here. But you drove here. Because this happened. I know, but if you know you've been drinking, that's when you say, well, you either call What was I supposed to do? I don't know. Come on. I don't know. Come on. Call a ride. Something. What was I supposed to do so when my had... son was in an accident? Okay. Did he tell you everything was okay and everything like that? No. He, he told me I needed much. to be here. In the car. Please, don't do this. Right. Well, I'll Please. Sleep. Just just wait over here by my car, okay? Step on that line and face me. You face you? Yeah, face me. You face you? Yeah, face me. No, face, face my direction. Oh, okay. There you go. Do you really have to do this? Yeah. Step, all right, face me this way. I want this way. Face me. There you go. Feet together, arms down to your side. I'll take your purse, your wallet there, and your key. Do you have my ID? I have your ID. Okay, just feet together like this. Okay. You wear glasses or contacts? Um, no, but I need to. Okay. So you don't have contacts in right now? No. Right. See the tip of my finger right here? You see the tip of my finger? Yes. Fall out with your eyes and your eyes only, okay? okay. Don't move your head. Okay. No, don't move your head. You're turning okay. your head. Alright, now what we're going to do, we're going to walk over there to where it's a little bit more. Like I said, he no, can. I'm an elected can, official. So, that, you know that? that means nothing to me. That okay, that's fine, let's, but I let's am. Walk over and here. I only am here because and, he and called I, me. And he I, called me because he's in an emergency situation. Okay. That's the only reason why. If you could put your left foot on that line, right foot in front of it, he'll touch your toe. Do you want to try this with your shoes on or off? You have I don't a, care. You could take them off if you would like. No, it's, it's fine. Just, Whatever. Okay. Whatever. Right foot in front of your left, he'll touch your toe. Arms down to your side. Stay in that position until I tell you otherwise, okay? Okay? You understand? Yes. Okay. 1050. Subject in the Red Mustang's mother showed up. She's go to filter right. Are you watching me? No, uh, and I'll tell you why, because I asked you to just stay in that position until I told you otherwise. I didn't give you any other instructions. Just I thought there. you told me to walk up nope. the line. No, nope. I asked you three times if you understood, and you said yes, but you kept going. So, Come on, man. Left foot on that line. She's in tears now, distraught and maybe hoping her tears will sway the cop. You can hear her mention her position once more, name-dropping the sheriff and Judge Woods while calling the officer a jerk multiple times. She gets to the point of threatening the cop's job, but he didn't budge. I am a justice of the peace from Washington County Quorum Court. Listen, look at and me. I know Sheriff look Helder. Hey, he I is a too. friend of mine. I know him too. Sheriff Helder is a friend of mine. Call him Listen to if me. you need to. Or call Listen. Judge Woods. Can you because stop? 
They are all friends of stop. mine. She failed pretty badly. Someone told me that Just I had stay to back. Uh, to clear no, what I said, Don't what I said is, I said, Where's your interest? You said my mom is on the way. That's all. I didn't ask you to have your mom be on the way. When she refuses to take a breathalyzer test, the officers take her in. I refuse. Put your hands on your back. No! Put your hands behind your back. She mentions that she's a teacher as well, and it leaves you wondering. Stop resisting me. I'm not resisting you. I have professional development tomorrow for teaching. I'm a third grade teacher. I have to go to professional development tomorrow morning. Give me some special treatment. On February 14th of 2022, a congressional candidate, Martin Hyde, was pulled over for speeding and texting while driving. Hi, how you doing? How you doing, sir? I'm Sebastian Sarasota Police Department. You're on audio and video recording. The reason for the stop, you were observed going 57 and a 40, and you were on your phone texting while you were doing that. That was at Euclid and Fruitvale. I'm not pointing at you, I'm pointing in the direction where it was. Seconds into this video, he asked the traffic cop, you know who I am, right? Can I see your license? Right? Yes, sir, I do. Can I see your license registration insurance, please? Can I do this? Yes, sir. He didn't stop there. He demands the officer's name, the length of time she's been on the force, and worse still, he threatens to have her job for this indiscretion. I still have a job to do, sir. Yeah, okay. What's your name? Officer Baskin, it's going to be on the citation. Can I see your insurance registration? License, please. Sir, can I have your people? Seven years, sir. This wouldn't be much of a story if Martin Hyde thought himself a regular citizen like the rest of us, but from the get go, Martin wanted to be treated like royalty. You're not going to give me your registration, sir. You I'm asking you if you're going to produce me with your registration. You want to have it on you? He name drops the mayor, her boss, and just about everyone else in a bid to intimidate this young officer into the course of doing her job. You're making career decisions, hide belts, while refusing to produce his registration. I'm asking you if you have your registration. You're making career decisions. How are you sir? doing this? Sir, because you were speeding and you were texting. Since when? What did you video? Alright. Hang tight. Hide wasn't done. When the officer writes him tickets for speeding, texting, while driving, and refusing to produce his registration, he's belligerent, and it was at this moment that Hyde pulls out the registration he'd refused to provide on request. He demands to speak to her supervisor, stating that he just spoke to her boss on the phone and went as far as calling her stupid. Sir, you're gonna be issued a citation. Everything you have to say. I'll wait for the supervisor. You can wait for the supervisor, but I'm gonna go through what I need to go through. No, I have no registration. Are you are gonna be issued a citation? the registration. Well, well, you've been already issued a citation for that. For what? For failing to produce your registration. Right. All right. You sure, you're gonna stupid. you're gonna right. be issued a citation 57 and a 40 for speeding. Your fine is 256. Here. Information in the back. Right and then I have an option to it's plead guilty. Camera. An option to plead not guilty and an option to take a safe driver's course. If you qualify for the course, it will reduce your fine. And it will reduce your points. If you decide to go ahead and do that. Listen to this cop stick to her guns, reeling out what the congressional candidate should do to reduce his fine and become a better driver, even with the possibility that his boss won't back her play. You know what he said about you? He said that he had you before like this and he'll have you again. Her response is, it's fine. If you decide to go ahead and do that, just make sure you do a prior to submission of you know payment. What? You know what he said about you? You wanna hear what he said about you? He could say all he wants about me. I got a job to do, sir. You know what he said about okay. you? If he you fails to you complete- like this. Okay. And he's gonna have you again. And that's fine. It's not fine. What you keep saying is fine. Sir. I'm a law abiding citizen and you're being bloody okay. rude to me. If you decide to go ahead and do the court, just make sure you do a prior to submission of payment as they do, do you require a certificate of completion. But what is Hyde's response to all these? He whips out his phone to show the officer the protective pouch with the words Hyde 2022. You are gonna be issued a citation for citation for texting like and driving. You are going to be issued a citation for failure to provide your registration upon request. You find us 116, information in the back. You, you have to guilty or not guilty. You lie. <laughs> Green paper. Green lying. paper tells you, you have 30 lying? days to replay. Why are you lying? You have 30 Why days to are reply. You lying? Payment options are on the green question. form. Question. Why phone, are you lying? phone number on the bottom when in case you have any questions. Come. When my supervisor comes, I'll wait for him with you if you like me to. In all of these, the officer is particularly concerned for Hyde's safety, and when he steps out of his car to stand in the middle of the road, she asks him to stay in the car or hop onto the sidewalk. Sir, step back into your car or stand on the sidewalk so you don't get hit by a vehicle. It's for your safety. 
14 right here. Can I have another unit respond? Sir, stand over there. It's for my safety and for your safety. Sir? 10 4, the driver being extremely uncooperative. Hind feels he asked the officer where he wants her, especially since he's reported to her to her boss, who was the caller you heard earlier. Why don't you just apologize, Hyde asks, but the officer was having none of it. Okay. Why don't you just, say you're sorry? Because I did nothing wrong, sir. I was doing my job, but I am going to ask you either to sip, sit in your car or step on the sidewalk because I don't want either one of us getting hit. Okay. When a different patrol comes to offer backup, you find a contrast between the officer on scene and the new arrivals. The new officer appears to be much more amenable to what Hyde desires. It's in his tone, especially as he asks. You know who he is, yes. right? Yeah, you might identify him. Yes. Okay. So you're just gonna stay by to cite him, or is that what you... He already got cited. Oh, he has already? Yes. Yeah. He identified himself after the officer listed Hyde's numerous misdemeanors. He's just waiting for... He's waiting for supervisor, and I guess he spoke to Frangioni, so Frangioni is on his way. Okay. Bobby just pulled up. Okay. Hello, Mr. Hyde. I guess Frangi you start you talked to Sergeant Frangioni by the phone. I did. Yeah. Okay, he's on his way. Hyde begins his lying at this moment, asking why he received a citation for no registration when he had it. Remember, he refused to produce it when asked. Turns out his registration has expired, but that doesn't phase him. He states, we're going to make sure that she pays the price for being disrespectful. Well, this one is the expired one, but... Well, that doesn't make it. It takes yeah. two seconds. Yeah. We're going to make sure that she pays the price for being disrespectful. I just want you to witness it and know that, it, yeah, the registration was right there, and she deliberately chose to write the ticket. She came up, she said, the, the first... Look, there's a video of it, so be quiet. There's a video of what you said. There is. And I've got a video of what you said. Right? Yeah. What she said was... I said, I said, I don't I have it. She immediately said, I write your citation. She went right back. She never said anything. She went straight back. She, I denied the citation. She straight back and write the said, I've lived here for 25 years. I've so represented your unit. I've got no interest in listening to you, young lady. I was talking to my sergeant. Sergeant, if you don't mind if we can step over off the road onto the side. Yeah, oh, just a second, officer. officer. Yeah. Hyde cannot believe that the officers are not simply falling at his feet and licking his boots in spite of his wealth and how much pro-police he's always been. I'm friends yeah. with the... Yes, sir. Everybody in the police department, this is the first time anybody has been disrespectful to me. And for what reason? I could care less. If they didn't write me a ticket, I could care less. I just pay the bloody thing. You don't think I got the money? Mm -hmm. It's the manner and the nature of it. Okay. And like I said, Sergeant Fangione will be over here to talk to you about her, her uh, interaction. He continues to insist that the officer lied, saying he gave her his registration. He also chips in at every opportunity about how he's always backed the police. Yeah, I have to leave it on. Oh. <laughs> Alright, so here's the thing. She lied about the cell phone thing. Okay. She lied about the, I don't know, the speed, I could care less. You can give me the ticket all day long, I could care okay. less about that. And then I gave her the registration, and she before she says, Oh, your registration? It's in the car there somewhere. She goes off, she writes me a ticket, she brings me back a citation. I said, There it is. Okay. And she still gives me it. Okay. All right. She's being fun. And the thing is, I appreciate that. I back you guys left, right, and center. I understand that. I do. I do. I trust me. I do and know I that. I don't expect better treatment, but I don't expect worse treatment. If that's how you treat people, that's unacceptable. Okay. I understand. I understand your frustration. And I can get the video and I can play it. I, I'm going. The mayor, I'm going. I, go, I understand yeah. that, but you know the thing is, I don't take kind. She knew exactly because I said to her, I said, "Yeah, right away." I said, "Yeah, she's like, yeah I know. straight away, right in the tickets." Why? Well, she's a traffic officer. Yeah, that's what we do. Traffic, but I understand. Yeah, I understand that's what she do. Yeah, yeah. So that it's not what you do, and you know it. Listen, she well, has I'm, a job to do. I'm not. Listen, I, I'm going to look way. at the. I'm going to look at the video. I I understand your concerns. I'm going to look at the video. I notified everybody in the chain of command right now. That's what I was doing. That's why I was not coming here. I thought you were going to meet me at the station, but it's not a big deal. I'll. I'm going to. She's going right now to dock her video. Right now, she's going to dock the video. And if there's problems, you will be the first to know. Well, I know there's problems. The difference is, I'll do something about it. Okay, I understand. Yeah, I'm going to take your complaint, is what I'm doing. That's the first step. 
Senator Sandra Cunningham arrested for drunk driving. State Senator Sandra Cunningham is captured after she drove her car into the curb. The officers look through her documents, asking if she needs any medical attention, just before bringing out the big guns and asking the important questions about her possible drunk driving. As she said she was driving, she went to make the turn and the car just went into the car. Sir, do you have your license and registration and insurance? And do you need any medical attention? Your license is right. Her inability to pick her documents off the card holder prompted the questions that followed. Have you had anything to drink today? No? That and her reckless driving. A sobriety test was quickly performed. And you're going to count each step. One, two, ma'am. Just stand with the right foot in front of your left foot, please. The senator began to look out for a police director she knows when it's obvious she's failing her test. Ma'am, I need you to stand with your right foot in front of your left foot. Uh, do you mind if I ask a question? Absolutely, go ahead. Okay. What was the question? I wanted to know if Director Shea... What does Director Shea have to do with anything right now? Well, because I can see that you're looking for something that isn't there. Okay. Alright. So, Director Shea has zero to do with this car, with this stop, though, right now, ma'am. Okay. Okay? So, I need you to stand with your right foot in front of your left foot. No, face me. Face me. The officers continue with the sobriety test, ignoring Sandra's attempts to cheat the test, including claiming that she needs medical attention. The only good news is that the senator has her nose mask on, though she had it below her mouth throughout the entirety of the exchange. The police did the right thing and placed her under arrest shortly after. Okay? Right, just pull your hands behind your back. No, 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 no,
All right, so next test we're gonna do is gonna be the walk and turn test, okay? Sure. I'm gonna demonstrate and explain the, uh, the starting position and the test for me for you, all right? Sure. Starting position is gonna be your right foot from your left foot, touching heel to toe like so. Can you get in that position for me? I'll do it wherever. Where yeah, do it up here and just re-angle your car? Yeah, we can do that. Or, I don't mean to be a yeah. no, no, you're 100% correct. Is this good right up here on this part of the parking sure. lot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you, do you remember the instructions or do you want me to go over them nine, again? Nine steps, count them out, turn around, come back. Nine heel to toe steps, counting out loud, return nine steps back, Start, okay? Starting out with the right foot. Right foot in front of your left foot, touching heel to toe, okay? You can begin the test at your, uh, whenever you wish. All right. All right. Hands down by your sides. Two. Three. Nine. All right, so if you want to stand right there, right in front of me here, okay? Next test is going to be the one-legged stand test, okay? Start position for that. It's your feet together, hands down by your sides, just like this, okay? All right? All right, so when I, when I tell you to do so, you're going to pick up whichever foot you're choosing. You're going to lift it approximately six inches off the ground, keeping your foot parallel off the ground, okay? All right? Sound good? Yep. All right, you can begin the test. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. Four, Try to keep them hands Five, by your side. Six, one thousand. Seven, thousand. Eight, one thousand. Okay. All right, very well. All right, Mr. Smith, you want you want to be honest with me about how much you had to drink tonight? I had one double margarita. Double margarita. Okay. No. Uh, all right. Well, look, just based off my observations, okay, when your what your eyes are telling me, I'm just going to take you into custody, okay, for driving while intoxicated tonight, okay? So if you could just put your hands in small your back for me, okay? The officers placed him under arrest, explaining that they'd have to take him back to the station for a breathalyzer test. This is particularly because they believe, based on their observations from his driving and the test administered. Uh, the but what what observation? So my observations on your on your test, from your eyes, from your walk and turn, and then from your, your one like test. test. And and listen, I I am not trying to make mm. any trouble. Uh -huh. You're standing out here on a windy road. Uh -huh. You're submitting me to balance tests, which mm. I did. Did I not do well at? I I did not. You did not pay. So from my perspective, from my observation. Um, Standing out here on a windy highway, I didn't pass that test that you just gave me. I mean, I did it with all this gear on as well. You're a trained uh, yeah. Okay, I understand that. So um, you're going to submit me to a breathalyzer test because... Like I said, base, so, so it's everything in account. You're driving, you almost ran a car off the road, okay, and then your tests. Based upon my observations, I have reason to believe you were, under the, you were intoxicated tonight, okay? Too intoxicated to drive. To so drive. That's why we take you back. We read this thing to you. We'll explain it to you when we get back to the station. Just because you're... We're out here, like you said, you you have your arguments, you know, that's what courts for. We're not, this is, it's an accusation. It doesn't mean that you're found guilty here and everything. I'm in, I'm in handcuffs so because of an, opposite, of an accusation. Correct. He's quite cooperative and calm through all of it. The officers quickly search his vehicle for intoxicants before it's impounded per John's law. Thank you, sir. Let me know. All right, sir, I got your phone with you, okay? My vehicle being locked? Yeah, it's going to be uh, impounded. Why is my vehicle going to be impounded? Sir, we're allowed to look for intoxicants inside your vehicle, okay? Two, your vehicle is being towed in accordance to John's law, which is just per the state of New Jersey, anytime you've been arrested for driving while intoxicated, your vehicle gets towed, and you can come back to the station and pick it up 12 hours after. It's at this moment, when he thinks everything's gone wrong, that he plays his final card. The important man card. And he asks the officer, you know I'm a congressional candidate for this district, right? You know I'm a congressional candidate for this district, right? Ending mileage is 59122. There's a what? 50046. There's a what? Do, do your job. I, 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 <laughs> I don't want to comment. Okay. I'm gonna say something. I, I, I got, I got respect for you guys. I, I understand that. I think I've been nothing but respectful with you back. You know, I, I'm, I, mean, I haven't done anything wrong, and, and you're telling me that that I'm under arrest. Mm -hmm. that you essentially, put me in handcuffs against my will. I, 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 I told you there was 
per se violations I acted upon and, and I had, per se violations 